oftentimes with mental illness does come physical illness. So we have a dual illness and the private providers are not going to be able to do that because they're not equipped and they're only going to be paid for one service. So the people that are bedridden because they're sick and physically sick and mentally, and we have people that have arthritis and heart disease that are caretakers for mentally ill people. Some of those people that are mentally ill actually go to the public health clinics and stay there during the day and are taken care of and they are safe. And then someone will pick them up from that family. These clinics do an amazing service for the city of Chicago. Right now, we have 15 people that are hospitalized. A couple are still in the hospital who are patients that were at the two mental health clinics that closed a few weeks ago. One person, it cost $27,000 to keep her in the hospital for seven days. We have some people that are still in the hospital, so we're looking at 21 days. We have other people that have been for 14 days. Multiply that 27 times 14 and 21. The city is going to spend more money just in the hospitalizations. Not just the hospitalizations, but also the arrest. We have mentally ill people that are being tased every day. They're being murdered every day. The police are not equipped to handle the services of the mentally ill, the needs of the mentally ill. The clinics have been doing it for over 40 years and been doing a wonderful job. We have people that have been wanting, that have actually had suicide plans. They were talked down from the ledge by their therapist. These are therapists that the city provided through mental health care. It's really important that we understand what the city loses. It's not just a few poor people. It is hundreds of thousands of lives that are affected by what happens with these clinics.